The big bright ball in the sky, our sun, is much larger than we can think. Imagine over a million Earths, that's how big it is. The sun is vital for life on Earth, providing light, energy, enabling photosynthesis, influencing climate, and our primary source of vitamin D. But sometimes it goes a bit wild and throws a massive solar storm our way, a gigantic wave of energy zooming straight towards us. This isn't just any storm, it's born right from the heart of the sun, strong enough to turn our world upside down, making everything dark and changing how we live forever. Today we will learn just how devastating a solar storm can really be that is sitting right next to us within our solar system. The Sun, a Celestial Marvel What is the role of the Sun in our universe? The Sun, a shining wonder in the sky, has always captured the interest and imagination of people. Since ancient times, different cultures have been fascinated by it. For example, the ancient Egyptians and the Mesoamericans considered the Sun to be a mighty god and worshipped it in various ways. The scientific study of the Sun started a long time ago, around 450 BC with Anaxagoras. He was a smart person from what is now Turkey, and he was the first one to say the Sun is actually a star, a huge ball of fire. Although the Sun is about 4.5 billion years old, which is relatively young for a star in its group called Population 1, it still plays a very important role in the story of our solar system. The size of the Sun is really hard to imagine. It's so large that you could fit about 1.3 million planets the size of Earth inside it. The Sun has almost all of the mass in our solar system. It's 333,000 times heavier than Earth. Its strong gravity is what keeps Earth and the other planets spinning around it making up our solar system with the Sun right at the center. The Sun is also the closest star to us. It's much farther away than the Moon. Light from the Sun takes about 8 minutes and 20 seconds to travel all the way to Earth. The Sun's energy is essential for life on Earth. It provides the warmth and light that all living things need to survive. The Sun's rays also help plants grow through a process called photosynthesis, where they turn sunlight into food. People have used the sun's energy for thousands of years, from drying clothes and food to navigating by the sun's position in the sky. Solar energy is now being used in more modern ways. We have technology that can turn sunlight into electricity. This is becoming a popular way to create clean energy that doesn't harm the environment. Solar panels, which you might see on rooftops, are used to capture the sun's energy and turn it into power for homes and businesses. The sun also greatly impacts the Earth's weather and climate. The amount of sunlight that reaches different parts of the Earth affects the temperature and weather patterns. For example, when the sun is more active, it can cause changes in the Earth's climate. Scientists study the sun to learn more about how it affects our planet. Earth's Vital Pulse Why is the sun's energy crucial for life on Earth? The sun is an amazing star that gives the energy needed for life on Earth. In its center, where it's extremely hot, between 5,500 and 6,000 degrees Celsius, hydrogen turns into helium. This change makes energy, including light and heat, which is essential for things like plants making their own food. The sun has cooler spots too called sunspots, which look darker than the rest. Solar storms are powerful events that affect space and cause what we call space weather. It happens in cycles that last about 11 years. These cycles change the sun's magnetic field. These include solar flares, which are big explosions caused by changes in the sun's magnetic fields, and coronal mass ejections CME, where a lot of plasma gets thrown out, often with solar flares. These solar flares can release as much energy as billions of nuclear bombs, and often come with CMEs that move fast and can cause geomagnetic storms, which happen when solar blasts hit Earth's magnetic field. These storms can mess up satellites and power systems. For example, a coronal mass ejection in February 2011 caused radio communication problems in China. A big solar storm could cost a lot, maybe more than the worst natural disasters like hurricanes. These space events can create beautiful sights like the Northern Lights, but also disrupt technology. How solar emissions and Earth's magnetic field interact shows how much the sun affects our planet. Yesterday's Blueprints Solar storms play a crucial role in affecting our technology-dependent world. These massive solar disturbances are capable of causing severe disruptions, 
ranging from short-circuiting satellites and hindering radio communications to causing power grid failures. The economic fallout from such disturbances could soar into the trillions, as demonstrated by historical instances. Quebec Blackout For example, the 1989 solar storm caused a power blackout in Quebec for over nine hours, disrupted satellite communications, and affected shortwave radio in Russia. Underlining our modern infrastructure's vulnerability to solar phenomena, these dramatic and unpredictable solar storms have left indelible marks throughout history. The Carrington Event In 1859, the most severe solar storm on record, not only shocked telegraph operators and sparked fires, but also made aurorae visible in tropical regions. This event was crucial in establishing the direct link between solar flares and geomagnetic disturbances, and laid the groundwork for understanding the impact of solar activity on Earth. Geomagnetic Storms Another event like the May 1921 geomagnetic storm, one of the most intense ever recorded, caused widespread electrical and communication failures. Telegraph stations were particularly hard hit, burning out and causing complete communication blackouts. The August 1972 solar storm, known for posing a grave risk to human spaceflight, led to widespread technological disruptions, including the accidental detonation of sea mines. The 2003 Halloween solar storms, some of the most intense of the space age, again demonstrated the sun's power, even in an era of advanced technology. And the St. Patrick's Day storm of 2015, the largest of solar cycle 24, served as a potent reminder of the ongoing risk of such events. In our increasingly interconnected and tech-reliant world, the potential for disaster from a massive solar storm is alarming. The main concern is the power grid, essential to nearly all our modern systems, services, and networks. A strong enough burst from the sun could damage critical components like transformers, leading to extensive power outages. It also threatens satellite-based technology, integral to GPS, aviation systems, communication networks, and pipeline corrosion. If a storm as intense as the Carrington event were to strike today, the economic fallout would be staggering, with costs in the first year potentially reaching $1 to $2 trillion, and a recovery time stretching from 4 to 10 years. These scenarios underline the critical need to monitor solar activities and be prepared for solar storms. Despite their infrequent occurrence, the wide-ranging consequences of severe solar storms make them a significant issue for contemporary society. As our dependency on technology grows, the threat posed by solar storms becomes more complex. The geomagnetic disturbances from solar storms can disrupt power grids, interfere with radio communications, increase radiation exposure for airline crews, and affect essential satellites, future-proofing as guardians of tomorrow. In about two years, around 2025, the sun is going to be very active. This could lead to stronger space weather, which might cause a lot of problems here on Earth. We've already seen how bad it can get. For example, in 2017, a solar storm messed up things during Hurricane Irma. And in 2015, GPS systems in the northeastern United States stopped working properly. Experts in economics are worried that these kinds of disruptions could be really expensive. They think that every day, these issues could cost as much as $41.5 billion. Because of these concerns, people are becoming more aware and are getting ready for these events. The government in the U.S. is working on better ways to predict and track the space weather. Scientists are also discussing the best ways to keep our important systems safe. They think that being able to predict these solar storms better is one of the best ways to protect ourselves. Getting ready for solar storms is just as important as preparing for big storms on Earth. Looking back at events like the Carrington event, we realize how dangerous these storms can be. If something like that happened today, it could cause power outages for millions or even billions of people. Because of this, we must always be careful and ready to handle these situations in the future. How do you think we can better prepare for these cosmic events? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.